Hi everybody, this is going to be a quick time lapse video where I talk about this painting that I've done. Um, stay tuned because it's a little bit different than normal. All right, so this was done in Procreate and I'm going to just kind of explain a little bit. Those of you who are new to my channel um, probably won't realize anything different. But those of you who have been with me for a while know that I have not posted a video in quite some time. And I am very sorry for that. Um, what has been happening with me just um, recently um, is I have wrecked my ankle. <laughs> and so I am like, I literally cannot walk. Um, so it's really hard for me to get down to my studio and just it's just hard for me to to sit down there and to work and I kind of have to stay put and there's not really a good place for me to keep my ankle up so um, I'm basically in bed all the time or in my bed I'm not actually you know in bed sleeping I'm just I just stay on my bed and so because I still want to do art I have been working on Procreate and so this is me painting in Procreate. Now obviously this is quite different than what you know has been on my channel before because it's all been you know traditional artwork but I figure you know what this is fun too and it's still a way for me to be creative. I still get all that um, uh, satisfaction that I can get when I am painting by hand and also this is a really helpful tool to use to practice painting by hand or drawing or sketching by hand. So I am um, going to be doing some more of these. Uh, let me know how you feel about that. Um, and it, there is a little bit to learn but I feel like you know some of you who have an iPad and you know maybe want to get procreate or have procreate um, you know it's just a one-time cost there's no subscription which is awesome because photo you know Adobe Illustration and all of that there is a subscription uh, which is why I've never really been able to do it so anyways um, with the brushes and everything there is a lot to learn but um, I've kind of figured out a lot about how to do it and so I want to do some procreate videos for you and definitely this is not going to replace my other videos once I get down to my studio I'm going to be doing all of that same thing that I've always done um, just as much as I've always done well hopefully more and uh, I, I want to do some comparisons between you know taking an image and doing it in procreate and then doing that same image by hand either in watercolor or you know, just uh, acrylic paint, oil painting, whatever, or mixed media. So that is what is going on with me. And this painting is actually inspired by a uh, Pinot painting. Uh, as you may or may not know, that is my favorite artist. And so I've just been kind of sitting here working on this. I've been working on, I have a, a few other ones. And I thought this might be kind of a fun thing to do. You know, maybe every Friday I post a new Procreate one. And because it, it is a lot quicker, because I can just do it really easily. Like I can just do it while I'm waiting, you know, in a vehicle or something. I mean, I'm not doing any waiting right now other than just sitting here, but um, it's, it's a lot easier to do. Um, in that way, it's a lot more convenient to do. I can take my whole studio with me, but it doesn't replace that tactile feeling of just those paints and those those colors that you can look at, those luscious, you know, paints that are just shiny and, and watery and, you know, so it doesn't replace that. But it is really awesome to be able to just have all of an art studio all on my iPad and I can just do really, I mean, Procreate, there is, a, as far as editing different things that you might want to do, um, you know, for graphic designers, I think there may be limitations, although I can't really say so much to that because I don't really do that kind of thing. 
Um, but for painting and this kind of thing, I don't know what else you could want in a digital app, um, in a tech, you know, like in an iPad. Sorry, I don't even know what I'm talking about here, but you, you get what I mean. You know what I mean? So as far as that, you know, I, I just can't see how an, how an app could be any better than this. Um, I'm sure there are things for other people that do different things that they could use some things for. There is one called Affinity and I have taken a look at that and I know that that has some things that could help me, um, whereas this one doesn't. Um, but this has some things that that one can't and I kind of do more painting. Uh, so, you know, I might get Affinity sometime, but right now I'm just gonna stick with Procreate and I've had Procreate for quite some time and I've been learning uh, for actually quite a while, but I've really just wanted to try painting to get the, the look how it would be if I was painting with an actual brush on an actual canvas. And so I've kind of been doing, that's what I've been concentrating on lately for the last while. Um, but I have had Procreate for a while. And so um, when I first got it, I just kind of was learning more about brushes and just lettering and stuff like that. But obviously that's not really what I do. It's not really what I want to do. Um, it was just to kind of get myself used to the app in general. And so, yeah, let's just talk about this painting. So uh, what I did, what I find works best is just to think of it how I would paint it normally if it was on a canvas. I would lay down some colors and then I would start working with those colors and do some blending if I need to. Now the easiest, the better, the nice thing about working on the app is that you can blend at any time. You don't have to worry about, you know, paint drying or doing it at a certain time um, before it gets dry or, you know, thinking about how blendable it's gonna be because it's always gonna be blendable if you use the right brush. So, but but the, the concept is the same. I lay down colors and then I work with the colors and you can move things around. Something that's also easier with the app is, and you may have seen me do it, you know, I adjust the mouth, I adjust the eye. So I would love it if you guys would comment down below and just let me know how you feel about Procreate or, you know, if you have any questions about it, if you would be interested in seeing more or if you would hate to see more, <laughs> let me know. And, or if you think the idea of um, comparing a, the same image in Procreate by painting by hand, um, if you think that would be interesting, I would love to hear from you. And I hope, she, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.